Breaking news tonight on ABC 17 News at 5. Missouri Highway Patrol troopers have recovered a body from the Missouri River in Jefferson City. Authorities confirmed to ABC 17 News a dead body was found near the Norin River access. ABC 17 News was the first to take you live to the scene last night as the search for this body started in Boone County. That's when a 911 caller reported seeing a lifeless body floating near the Missouri River Bridge at Interstate 70. ABC 17's Dan Massinio was the first to get word on this body about it being found this afternoon and is joining us live now from Jefferson City. And Dan, what are you finding out? Yeah, the uh, highway patrol officials tell me that a person spotted the body while walking along the banks here. Now, this is near the Norn River access. Uh, underneath the Highway 54 bridge, they spotted the body floating in the water and called officials. Now, the call came out around 2.30 to the Jefferson City Fire Department. Crews got on the scene and pulled the body from the water. Officials tell me it is a white man, age unknown at this point. It has been identified as the same body that was seen last night around 8 near Rocheport. Boone County had two boats searching the river until almost 11 but stopped because of storms. Highway Patrol was back at it this morning searching around 20 miles of the river but found nothing. The Highway Patrol does not yet know who this is and has had no reports of missing people. There have not been reports of missing persons within these local jurisdictions and up towards where he was first sighted, uh, but that's something we'll be checking into. Uh, you have to remember the Missouri River and the Missouri River Basin covers thousands of miles of river. Officials could not confirm how long the body had been in the water. They say it had traveled more than 40 miles and that when it was found, it had already been decomposed. Reporting live, Dan Massinio, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Dan. Officials say they cannot rule out foul play at this point, and they are treating it as a death investigation. We'll continue to update you on this story throughout the evening. As we learn more, you can always catch the latest details on our website, Facebook, and Twitter, abc17news.com. And we have more.